Welcome guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the chocolate almond energy bites. So here is everything that you all will need. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is measure out and blend up your almonds. And depending on how many you're trying to make, you know, you would um, add more, but this is how many I have. Let me sneak one of them. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get the blending. All right, you guys, so this is about the consistency that you are looking for, you know, just nice and grounded. And so now I'm going to go ahead and add in my pitted dates. All right, have about five of them in there. So after I gave that a mix, I'm gonna go ahead and add three more in, but to make it a little easier, I'm going to cut them up a little bit to help my food processor. So then I'm going to just add like a spoon and a half-ish of the cocoa powder. And I'm going to go ahead and squirt in some honey. And you guys, all of these things you can find if you can find really at Walmart. Um, <laughs> Cause that's where I got my stuff from. Um, but you can also substitute some things like the honey can be substituted for coconut oil, but I personally did not like the coconut oil. So I settled for the honey. All right. So after everything is blended, you're going to go ahead and take some in the palm of your hands and roll them out into a little balls. And I was able to make about six of them and this is how it came out with a little bit of powdered sugar. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is the less is more apple pie. And here is everything that you need and you can get any ice cream that you like. So of course I'm gonna start off by showing y'all my diving skills <laughs> and cut up my apple. <laughs> You know, I got to show off a little bit, you know, you know, I got to show off a little bit. Come on. <laughs> All right. So after everything is cut up, I'm going to push that aside, get my bowl and go ahead and set it in. This, this is so simple, you guys. So simple, so easy, so quick. Um, but I absolutely love it and I didn't have to put it in the um, oven. So that's a plus. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my nutmeg. And really, you know, the you can add as much as you like or as little as you like. Um, and that's my cinnamon that I'm adding in as well as some butter. Now, some people might have said that I OD'd with the butter. But you can use, you know, uh, low-fat butter. Uh, I can't believe it's not butter. Personally, if, it, if it's not butter, then I don't know what it is. But either way, so when you bring it out, I put it in the microwave for about uh, three minutes. And voila, look at that presentation. All right, so the next one we have is the raspberry cheesecake squares. And here's everything that you all need. Um, and just note that I really didn't use everything. Actually, those portions are for um, double the amount that I needed. So I actually used half of what you've seen. Um, so yeah, start by adding in the yogurt. And go ahead, and I'm only using one egg white, so I'm discarding the yolk. And I'm mixing that up now. If you have a handheld mixer, you can use your handheld mixer, but you know what I'm saying? Your girl just got her hands. <laughs> so that's when I'm, you know, I'm mixing. <laughs> I am the handheld mixer, okay? So I went ahead and I added in some milk. All right, and I added in one tablespoon of the cornstarch and I mixed that bad boy right on up. All right, so after that, I added in me some honey. 
all right and then i added in me some vanilla extract now um after you're blending everything up for me it's important for me to test it so you're gonna see me test it and i actually felt like i needed a little bit more honey so i added a little bit more mixed that thing up and it was you already know bussin All right, so now in our food processor, we're gonna add in our graham crackers. I use nine of the um, graham crackers, you guys. All right, so once you're done, it'll look like this. And then I added me in some butter. All right, and I gave that a mix. And really, you just want to mix it up um, until it is properly distributed throughout. And it'll look something like this. I went on ahead and switched to my hands. Um, you know, you just want to make sure that it can hold firm. So you will see me, you know, pull some up. And if it holds firm together, that's how you know that, you know, that thing, that thing done. There you go. All right. That thing done. All right. So I didn't have any parchment paper, so I had to use some aluminum foil, which is fine. And you will see me ODing right here. I was like, let me put a little olive oil <laughs> just in case I don't want it to stick. <laughs> <laughs> so I oiled my um, aluminum foil and then I put my graham cracker crust in there and patted it down, made sure everything was compact and threw it in the oven and I actually let it sit in the oven for 15 minutes. All right, and while that's in the oven, I went back to my filling. I rinsed me off some raspberries and I threw some in. Now, I used raspberries this time because there was no strawberries in the store <laughs> when I went. So I went ahead and used raspberries. But if you find strawberries, you can use that. Blueberries, you can use that. Um, you know, it's up to you. So make it your own. All right, so after I gave that a nice mix, I'm going to go ahead and um, take my crust out of the oven and I'm going to, you know, put my filling in there. All right, so while you're doing this, you just want to make sure you have a nice even layer across um, and give it a little shake. And you're going to put this in the oven. If I didn't say I set the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so I put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes and it was awesome you guys i put it from the oven i went ahead and i put it in the refrigerator and i let it sit for a couple of hours and it was so amazing and this was the end results don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye